Okay, in this video, I got a review. I came across this when I was walking through a uh, camping and hiking store. Did not cost much. Thought I'd do a little taste test. So, contacted Combat Cameraman. We tested it out. And we have our uh, info on this. Now, this is spicy sausage pasta made by Alpine Air. Alpine Air apparently is owned by Catadine Group out of Switzerland. Alpine Air, though, as a company, apparently has been in operation since 1979, so they've been around a while. Now, the price on this was about a dollar to two dollars less than a standard mountain house pouch. Some of the information on this. Two servings per pouch. Total for the pouch is 620 calories. To prepare this, it's the same as on any freeze-dried meal. You're going to open it up, remove the oxygen absorber, open up the pack a bit. You're going to put boiling water or heated water inside the pouch. It says about one and a half cups. Then you're going to reseal the top. Give it 10 to 12 minutes to rehydrate. And then, in theory, it should be good. Now, taste-wise, there was a decent amount of pasta in it, a decent amount of chopped up peppers in it, a lot of sausage crumbles and the sausage crumbles tasted pretty good. It was kind of like an Italian sausage, a spiced sausage. We could taste a little hint of spiciness in it, which is supposed to be cayenne pepper, but it is negligible. Now, this is supposed to have a creamy cheese sauce inside it. However, there was so little powder in there that I would not call it creamy and by taste, I would not even call it a cheese sauce. I'd say more of a cream style sauce along the lines of what you would get from a uh, cream of mushroom soup from a store. It was very thin and there was not much of it. So taste wise, okay. It definitely needs salt and pepper. That was something that both of us said when we took our first bites is that there's a little hint of spicy in it, but it needs a little bit more in the taste. It needs some salt and pepper. So would I recommend this? It will work, but be advised, it's not gonna have that much sauce in it. Essentially what you're going to be eating is pasta with a bunch of small chunks of sausage in it, probably more meat in it than what we see in a mountain house pouch. But very little sauce, very little um, taste. When I was talking with Combat Cameraman, I mentioned to him that this really to me seemed like something that you should maybe, if you have one of these, and with your you're with another person, your wife, your husband, your battle buddy, uh, one of your kids, whatever it turns out to be for the situation. If there's two of you, make one pouch of this and mix it into a pouch of Mountain House Beef Stroganoff. There's more than enough sauce or and stuff inside that one. The two of them will pair together really good and you would be able to get still a decent f fill for both of you, a decent serving for both of you as you eat. If you're eating this just by yourself, the one pouch will work. You'll probably still want to have something uh, on the side just to uh, top you off. What that being, that's up to you. Maybe some type of uh, pouch soup or something like that, or some type of uh, dessert entree. But uh, overall, I recommend it with the proviso that you do need to add a little bit to it.
Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember SAONs.